Standing here before you today is exactly where I want to be. First off, I just want to say thank you for giving me a second chance after my awkwardly painful first kiss attempt. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but it still blows my mind um, that I get to spend the rest of my life with such a beautiful, intelligent, and hardworking woman. That being said, I always promise to appreciate you, challenge you, respect you, and continue to fiercely love you through every stage of life. And when, it's time, when, when it is time to start a family, I promise to be the best father I can be, because I know you'll be the absolute best mother. My favorite quality that you possess is that you are the same person behind closed doors that the rest of the world sees. You are always 100% genuinely yourself, and I promise to always hold you accountable to, to continue to do that. I love life with you, and will, to, and will continue to support you through the good times and the bad. I'm so excited to be your husband and give my whole heart to you now and forever. I love you. It's been a blessing to have you by my side these past four years. I'm thankful for your willingness to move to Arizona and begin a life together. We have accomplished many things through laughter, humor, and happiness. We've worked together and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. I fell in love with your humor, perseverance, and dedication to be the best person you can, and also your unconditional friendship to those you love. I've only grown to love you more and I'm honored to be by your side. I promise to be strong when you are down with the understanding that you will do the same for me. I promise to continue to support you to be the best you can be in both personal and professional endeavors. I promise to never stop being silly with you and laughing with you. I promise to stand by your side and choose you every day as my husband and my best friend. I have no doubt that Rachel will show Sam unwavering love, support, and encouragement for the rest of their lives, in good times and in bad, because it's what she's always done for me. I feel very privileged to know these two people, and I also feel very lucky to have witnessed the love that they have for each other from the very beginning. Watching these two grow into a couple that they are today has been one of the most joyful experiences of my life. Anyone can be passionate, but it takes real love to be silly. When Rachel and Sam are together, they let their guards down, and it's obvious to everyone around them that they're not only very much in love, but that they are best friends. With Rachel, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I could really truly be myself around her, and I feel like she could be herself around our family, and she is just the perfect piece to the family that we were missing, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to have a sister in my life who consistently and constantly brings just a glow into the room, and you make every occasion just that much better, 
and you are always there smiling, having a good time, a great attitude, and I love you for that so much. I really do. I love you. So Sammy has some good qualities in him, you know. He's got he's got some good stuff working with him. He knows he knows how to make people laugh. He knows, you know, he knows how to make people feel involved and welcome. He likes to involve everyone, which is a great quality to have in people. And he also has the ability to convince a girl way out of his league to marry him. So, Sammy, that a boy. Good going. Good going with that. It was at Rachel's graduation, as Amanda shared, that Sam managed to arrange for both sets of parents and many from this wedding party to come together uh, at another swanky golf course, not this one, in Scottsdale, and formally ask Rachel for her hand in marriage. In the, so in the lead up to today, I have often been asked as the bride's father, what do I think of the guy? Because that's all they know, the guy. Well, I'm here to tell you he is industrious and hardworking, very easygoing and well regarded by others as attested to by the many here joining him today. And most importantly, he honors and respects his parents, and I know they are proud of the man he has become. And I'm proud he is the man my daughter, forever my daughter Rachel, has chosen. Something's in the air now Got me feeling 